Greetings. Hello. Salutations Hello. and good morrow and welcome everyone to the next episode of Sagas and Solace, the Severed Third. Oh, excuse Whoa. me. I almost died there for a second. Brought to you good. by Milton Bradley. <laughs> a family company. Say it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Who would like to give the recap? I will do it. Lay it upon me. Last time on Sagas and Solace, the Seventh Thread, as we continued to deliberate about the idea of Na attempting to hop on the table for the experiment, uh, after we learned that she is in fact the exact collection of parameters Zylo is looking for, uh, we returned to the table room. Na hopped, uh, hoping to uh, bring the red more prominently to Corvanus, and expecting that perhaps uh, using the experiment to shatter her eye might be the way. Um, Upon activation of the device, Nah, uh, a person I've become come to admire and respect, suddenly vanished. There were several tense moments as I gripped my weapons, looking to Zylo for more information, anything, but he was so focused on the experiment I got to sit there, stewing in my own concern. Soon, Zylo's uh, to Zylo's excitement, uh, Nah suddenly returned, her right eye shattered, as Mr. Nenonoth looked her over and confirmed she was healthy, we moved on. Uh, it was at that point that Zalo exclaimed, Oh no, the vault is open, time to leave, began to pick up his things and sprint out of there. He gave us the place and everything, and before leaving through a door and blocking the passage. Nara had apparently uh, opened some form of vault while she was vanished, some kind of vision quest. And now uh, something was rampaging beneath us, we decided to investigate it. As we went down to the bowels of the vault, we came across an immense and terrifying bird, a phoenix of ancient times, but corrupted on Gaia, the last returned. Looking over the notes that I've borrowed from Mr. Nedanoth, it seems the creature would be an incredibly difficult fight. Uh, freeing it would be potentially a force for good, though. It is clearly suffering. Uh, but beyond that, its potential rewards and remains could be useful on a spectrum I hadn't quite understood in the moment. I don't I didn't think of it at the time. I I blame being on the road for so long or the people that I've been hanging around with. But this creature is it has materials. It's down. It can bring people from the dead back to life as an absolute effect. Our friends who might fall in battle or any of our undead who might wish to return to the no mortal life aside, I could bring him back. Potentially. I, hope, I mean, I hope that's what an absolute effect means. I'll leave Nininoth a sketch of the creature here in the corner as a thanks for letting me peruse his notes. We'll need to prepare for this one. This is... This is... <sighs> we have to know what we're doing before we go in. So, time for preparation. And... I'm going to go ask Mr. Chrome if I can have some of that wine he eluded from the lab. Okay. Nice. That's enough. Shut. And so <laughs> we have returned from whence you came, back to Moaz Kadan in all of its glory. And we have a lot of stuff to explore. But I figured that since we are down another person, that we would focus on personal stuff, not main story stuff. <laughs> As it just so happens, a short amount of time from you returning, the grove is complete. Swig, so oh. are you ready to do some big boy druid stuff? Yes, sir. I'm talking some high level druid stuff. The kind I'm of stuff here. to make all the other druid players jealous and poop into their own toes. It's then, a skill issue. And then scream in Irish. <laughs> That was oddly specific. Oh, I'm ready. Potato. Okay, let's do this. Uh, are you taking anyone with you, or are you going by yourself? If anyone wants to come with, they're free to tag along. I've always been curious. Would it's... the party like to go? Uh, yeah, I'll follow if he's open for it. I would yeah. love to. Oh, it's true. Are we visit in the dream? I don't know. Maybe. It's just the grove, Mr. Chrome. 
It's still the green. The green is important. Know that oh, much. Good. Okay, I will just take everyone. Yes, I would take would be bored without us, so bring him to. <laughs> I mean, he could be going over uh, the Mr. Laza, um, watch over things where we're going. You got it, Mr. Marlow. Swig. Yeah. Um, I guess I will serve your juridic ways for record purposes. Yes, yes, come along. You have to raise other druids. You have to teach them the way. Lights, LP Curio. And perhaps a song would um, make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> would a song spark joy for your druidicness? Yeah. His, uh, his tempo is very unique. So it's like, you start a sentence, you're like, maybe I would. And then you kind of like stop in the middle. I'll be with that. <laughs> like <it's> just... <laughs> <laughs> Walking uh, in a winter wonderland. What a wonderful person Luke is playing Marlo. What an upstanding guy. Please compliment him when you see him next, chat. He really likes it. And I have music for this. Why are you a shark? What the hell? Signs to uh become oh, shark. that's better. There you go. His true form. Oh, very nice. Very nice map. Hmm. Expected it to be more mushroomy. All right. Uh, let me know when you're loaded. 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 All set. Loaded. Loaded. All right, Svig. Yes. The Druidic Circle has been finished by the um, by the builders. However, it cannot be activated unless tended to by an actual druid. So, let's go ahead and move you up. being so difficult. Move them there. There we go. Okay, uh, the swirling effect isn't there right now. Mm, okay. Nor is that. Ignore that. Yeah. All the stone stuff is later. there, though. I see. Okay. Okay. Let me fix the camera. There we go. All right, Swig. The stones have been set in place, and now it is time for you to do druid shit. Oh, I will be walking up. Uh, uh, watch closely. This is uh, the true way of a druid. Anything else is mediocre at best. <laughs> All right. Twilight Mouse claps. As you stand in the center of the circle, oh, no, I gotta get up. This is pretty important stuff, so I gotta stand up. All right, as you stand in the center of the druid circle, um, you can feel the ancient stones properly aligned, but they need to be called to. What you need to do is you need to call forth the ley lines and essentially attach the veins to the stones so that the mana can be properly circulated. Now, since the ley lines within Corvanus are thick, this is a difficult process, especially that you are doing it by yourself. But as there are no other druids available, you really don't have a choice. Yes. So, first things first, make me a nature check. This is my advantage apply. Yep. All right, Svig. Hold out your hands over the stones and slowly, like a marioteer rolling a puppet on strings, slowly you pull at the tiniest little branches of Leylenic energy below you within the earth. Bit by bit, the lifeblood of the world begins to bubble up in a small, control uh, controlled stream. The stones slowly begin to seep it up, condensing it and soaking it 
into themselves. Now that you've coaxed a bit of the ley line into the stones, the bad part happens. The ley lines, completely out of control, start to surge down this new pathway. And now the difficult part. You must taper off the mana before it explodes outwards, causing devastation in the area around you. But you must also allow enough in order to fully charge the circle so that it can perform its task. So this is what I need you to do. You must roll a nature check, but you must not get above a 20, and you must not get below a 10. You must hit in the middle. And the closer to 15 you are, the easier this process will become. Got me? Yeah, I understand. Alright, go for it. Alright, the ley lines open up way too far. You can feel the energy start to flow around you. It spills out into the nearby forest. You can see rampant growth beginning. Rocks and stones starting to crack under the weight of unseen roots. It starts to sort of spiral out. Roll again. Once again, trying to compensate. You veer too far in the other direction. Another valve, much like that, of a heart with palpitations. The heartbeat of the world becomes overwhelming. It threatens to destroy you and everyone else here. The ley lines start to pulse. Another mistake will cause a wild magic event. Well, again. Oh, shit. Can you not have advantage? <laughs> All nature checks I make have advantage. Yeah. Brace yourself. All right. As Vig calls out his warning, he attempts to close in on the ley lines, but it is far too much. The stream has been opened, and so comes forth the cascade. All right. Wild magic event time. Wait, did I have to roll a 20, uh, 15 on the dice or overall? You needed to get between 10 and 20. Ooh. Like, total. E. Okay. Hence, hence why it is difficult. Okay. Gotta ride that middle line. Alright, here we go. Something is coming. Oh god, is this... I thought we were just coming to look. Ah! Oh. Everyone hit the deck. Jumps in barrel. Rouches. Oh, seven barrels of wine out. All right. <laughs> Everything within a two mile radius undergoes the uh, undergoes the effects of an unnatural winter snow begins to fall ice or excuse me water begins to freeze into ice and the temperature drops to that of 15 to 20 degrees Oof. a devastating cold is summoned out from Swig's ley line it starts to sh it starts to shift and twist around him threatening to overwhelm him even more. The snow, summoned by the ley line's wild magic, begins to fall all around him. Huh? Eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, Swig. The mana, the mana has done its job and has infused the stones. However, you now need to turn it off. You'll need to All seal right. the Leylenic energy that is pulsing through here. So in this one, you actually want to roll lower. The lower, the better. Ooh. Okay. Can you choose not to roll with advantage? <laughs> Can I? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Man, if only we had a busker. 
Okay. <laughs> you start to slowly seal the ley line. The energy is still pulsing out. Unnatural winds, cold, ice start to emanate outwards from the grove. Long icicles fall from the ceiling, crashing into the ground around you. Make another nature check, Savwig. You start to close off the ley line even more. Finally, the great welling energy is forced back down and goes upon a path of lesser resistance as it flows back into the earth below. As you seal the hole that you've made, you will see that the energy goes back to the veins attached to the stones. The stones begin to glow with powerful druidic magic. Like great mana batteries, they are now ready to be used to enact the rituals that will allow you to adjust the energy energies of the land itself. So, now we get to talk about some stuff. <coughs> Long time since been this cold. Feels good. Could be a bit colder, truth be told. Oh. I thought so you guys were goners. Hey, you got this? I'm just standing there, crossed arms. I mean, if it's just gonna be more ice, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it's under control now. Looks at the plants. Not all the plants like ice, I thought. Okay. So I take it you can inter interact with the ley lines now? Somehow? Well, the interaction with the ley lines has been finished. Stones cannot destroy all the Leonic power. All I have to do is command them to. Druid, yeah. Druid Circle. It was the initial uh, phase of me going through and grabbing that energy. Alrighty. Up and about. Swig. Hmm. Let me know when you're loaded. I'm loaded. Now that you're at a druidic circle, and I and are directly um, ascertaining its presence, you're basically in the command seat. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. Second. Be right back. Just two seconds. Be right back. Well, I guess we made it through this part. Yes. <laughs> there it is. It was rather strange doing it for the first time. I've only seen others tend to it. Oh, so you just, like, that was the first time and you had no idea what you were doing? Uh, yes. Oh, so the, the ice... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the ice is not supposed to happen. Usually you have more than just one druid. That's a lot of ice. And you just, what, didn't want to share? I don't... We don't really have a lot of druids here, do we? Uh, yeah, and I guess we left the rest of the Barrow's men behind. Yeah, they didn't really have a All lot right. of druids either. I bet. So... More than we did. That's true. Alright, Svig. 
as you start to um, attune with the circle, you can feel that the stones themselves are different undulating rhythms and tides. You feel as if you can adjust the area around you. Specifically, your ley line, or rather your grove, is sufficient to control the ley line of the twisting pines. You can also feel... Hold on, I have to check my other maps. You feel as if you were the only circle in the area affecting these ley lines, which means there's no other effect that seems to be directly controlling them. There are other natural effects, but there's no direct contender to the control panel, if you get what I mean. Yes, yes. Like okay. natural stuff is happening around it, but no one is actually in power of it. Yeah, no one is enacting will on it, it would seem. Okay. Alright, so that means... Let's see here. Okay, here we go. So the ley lines have several settings that you can adjust. Each one has a different effect. The first setting that you have is intensity. Intensity deals with the direct amount of power that is being brought up. It's, it's the direct conduit. So the more power you have, the more options you have, but the more exposure you cause, it causes a lot of stuff like that. Okay. So here are some examples of what I mean. At its minimal setting uh, of zero, mana is completely shut off. So no natural mana goes into the into the area. Plants start to die. Um, people can't rest and recover magic. You know, stuff like that, right? Now, obviously, that setting is not zero, but you could turn it off if you wanted to. The highest setting is that mana is churning through this area. Wild magic events are going off. People, people can cast without being, um, without using spell slots. But exposure increases exponentially, causes all kinds of stuff to happen. Each of the different settings allow you to have different effects active, and it also allows you to more easily. Uh, it, it also affects the amount of mana that you have to work with with me so far mm -hmm. yes okay the next up is saturation now if intensity is the amount of mana saturation is how it is layered so the lower the saturation the lower the amount that the mana gets to spread it's essentially are you building pillars are you building tall are you building wide so more mm -hmm. saturation means more of the area is covered so, for example, if you had low saturation, like a saturation of zero means only your grove is created, is where that mana can be found, which means that nowhere else is getting mana. So you're cutting off plants or dying, stuff like that. So zero of that is keeping it in one spot. And each setting above that is how many different points give more mana access. So this will increase the efficacy of resting for spells. This will increase the efficacy of uh, spell discovery. This will increase the e the efficacy of natural born magic occurring uh, occurring in the area. Right. Most notably, saturation is the direct effect is the direct effect that controls the amount of sorcerer births. Ah, okay. Because <laughs> that's how much of it is saturated. With me so far? Yes. Okay. Next up we have is refinement. So, if the intensity is how much mana there is, and the saturation is where it is, refinement uh, would represent what filter that it has been used and essentially how it is um, how it is accessed, right? 
Yes. So essentially, it's the shape that the mana takes. The lower the refinement, the rawer the energy is, the more accessible it is. But the higher the refinement, the less accessible it is, but the more focused it is. Most notably, the lower the refinement, the more wild quotations the magic is, and the more in nature it is. A higher refinement means that it's more and more of an artificial aspect of mana. So essentially, a setting of zero is pure wild magic. Nobody controls it. It's pure chaos, right? You don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, one is druids. It is control through the natural laws. Seven would be like arcanist wizards. Magic being programmed directly. See what I'm saying? So each of the different yeah. each of the different classes have a different refinement level of their mana or their spells. So each of the different wellsprings are affected based off how much refinement that you have. Okay. Alright, and now the next one is Prismatia, which is whether or not you um, translate the mana into one of the colors. And this isn't really a this isn't a setting of amount. This is a setting of color. Now, it should be noted that the base setting of this is zero, which is no color at all. Mm -hmm. uh, use extreme caution when activating the Prismatia and allowing color into the mana. It will have effects that you can't fully predict, but you will be able to control at least somewhat what the mana does. Would the default color still be orange? The default colors are one through seven. So, uh, okay. it, you know, indigo, blue, you know, it follows the list. So orange would be five. Okay. Remember, the other three are settings of amounts. Prismatia is a setting of filters. So it, it, it doesn't increase or decrease. It just changes. All right. So right now, the current settings of the Grove are one, 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 zero. Oh no! Excuse me. It it is it is it is. I'm sorry. It is one, three, one zero. Sorry. One three one zero. Yeah. All right. We're up gonna crank it. Uh, the max is seven. Minimal is zero. It is completely up to you. You can set the adjustments however you want. And these are just the base settings. Uh, the Grove, because you chose a Dream Grove, you also have different access points. Like, you can um, you can actually manipulate the Dream in the area as well. But I don't want to overwhelm you. <laughs> I want you to start at the lower levels and kind of learn what you're doing first. All right, yeah. Perfect. Um... Yeah. So give it a think. I'm free, my soul. <laughs> You I want to get lost in your rock and <laughs> roll and drift away. <laughs> I want to crank that shit up. Okay, how much? Give us more sorcerers. That'd be fun. Uh, seven is the highest, right? Yep. Do a five. Five on which one? On, uh, control. So like the the wild. There's intensity, uh, saturation, and refinement. Uh, refinement. Five on refinement. <clears throat> I believe the sorcerer one was saturation, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. To review, intensity is how much mana. Saturation is where that mana is, how it's spread around. And three, refinement is how artificial that mana is made, what shape it takes. If you wanted more sorcerer births, you would increase saturation. Oh, okay. Then, uh, I do five saturation. Okay. Would you like to make any other changes? Uh, yes. Intensity, four, refinement, three. Okay. <laughs> Lock... man's going all out. Locking all right. in settings. Okay. Settings locked in. Color's still neutral. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, look, I got some big balls. God. Yeah. 
I don't want to get glassed. I imagine you were just sitting over here and you're flowing around with mystic energies constantly. I'm just meditating. <laughs> Okay, dream adjustments. Because this is a circle of dreams, you get to access a couple of things. Um, some things are only available at certain settings. The current abilities are available at the settings that you currently have them. I will list them out for you. All right. Sorry, it's a lot to type up. Just give me a second. Yeah, it's fine. And now, Swig, make sure not to let all this power get to your head. You kidding? This guy? I don't even know what you're talking uh, about. He definitely didn't say, Hey, Nar, what if we threw you on the table? <laughs> I said that it was. It felt right. It felt correct for you to go on the table. She survived. <laughs> <laughs> if I were really playing Dead Vlasic Kit, Nar would be like, "Hey, what if you cranked the dial to red?" Huh? Uh. <laughs> okay, these are the current dream augmentations, which I will put in your chat. Under notes. Right. You possess Dream Walk, which requires intensity of 4 plus, saturation of 4 plus, Touch of Inspiration, which is a refinement of 3 plus, and the Neutral Dream State, which is no setting at 6 or higher and no color. So just dreams. Be right back, two seconds. Mm hmm. No rampant nightmares. Good, good. Hmm. So we got even more bonuses to inspiration because I think the uh, the dream one did that by default, right? Thank oh, goodness, because yes. we don't yes. have uh, we don't have inspiration. <laughs> you thought you were clever there, didn't you? <laughs> but we also get dream walk. That's gonna be fun. I don't know what any of this means. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with this as well. Any input but, from uh, Chrome but over But Swig, you're the druid. <laughs> you're supposed hey. to know what these things mean. There's the first time for everything. This is my first time right here. Uh, um, go ahead. So, this is way out of my league. Yeah. I mean, what are you doing? What are you hoping to do? Uh, what? Suing. I hope this. Oh, yeah. Um, enrich the area. It is kind of a uh, dead. Okay. Then you want a wide area of mana, which you did. Yeah. You want some mana going into it, which you did. Now you get to play around with dreams, which I don't think anyone has really done for ever since Tyr has ruled this area. Mm. Messed around with everything. And you up the refinement, which, if I think about it, makes sense. This place is a wild forest. There's no real civilizations around. Mm. So the wild and primal energies. Now that you've turned oh. it up, perhaps we'll start seeing a bit more pounds. Yeah. Uh, True. Wait, I have a uh, question. Mm -hmm. You said you could yes. detect the natural spots that could control the um, ley lines? Or the, your circle? Yes, the circle. Did you perhaps could locate them? The what? Uh, the natural spots. Can I locate them? Yeah! 
so with the saturation you have, there are basically natural areas where the ley lines are like wells of magic. These are like like beautiful places in nature, like a waterfall or uh, a like colorful a colorful meadow. Like the cranes in the north of the endless the cairns. The cairns. The cairns. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's more yeah. divine magic. That's not primal. But the the cairn is like a is like a like a cemetery. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping you could detect that, but that's something different. Never mind. No, no, no. That's a that's primal. I mean, excuse me. That's divine. This is primal. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. But if anyone was tampering with the local uh, ley line, and you'd be able to detect them, even from the yes. Yeah. As long as they're uh, tampering with it, I I should know about it. As long as I'm constantly taking care of it. Hmm. It's good to know we don't have any competition yet. Indeed. Uh, what are these um, dream abilities we got, or effects? <laughs> Hello. No. I was chewing. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> All right. Too <laughs> faster. <laughs> so the dream walk <laughs> allows you to walk into the dream. Oh, well, that's straightforward. Yeah. Specifically both in and out. So you remember when people go to the fucking dream and then they have no way back and then they get in trouble? Yeah, yeah, with the gods and everything. Yeah, it's because they don't have this. Oh, okay, so I can just go in and out. Yes. So. Do you go in awake and sleeping? Both ways? Well, this lets you walk in while awake. Okay. Why would anyone want to go there? So, is that restricted to us or anybody in the in the twist? It's a door. Okay, we have a door. Just don't. Oh. Yeah, we have two doors now. <laughs> we have a door and we have the key to the door. Where does the is it is it a door to some place else? Does it come out somewhere like the Fey gates? It is a oh, door. It's... Oh, are you asking me or them? Uh. Yes. <laughs> okay. It, it's a door to the dream. Specifically, it's to the dream where this grove is found in the dream. Hmm. It's like an island in the great, vast, infinite ocean of possibility. Uh, we're not going to uh, be getting on anyone else's turf like the bunny woman again, right? I think that's the gate to the Feywild. Yeah. I only understand the difference uh, slightly of the two. Uh, I think the dream is a different realm. Is that right, Sweet? Yes. Mm. Where all dreams happen. But it won't be the whole realm. It'd be the area that the Twisted Pines would be located in. At the dream. Hmm. So we might be walking into somebody else's domain. Uh, well, would you have permission again, like you did with the Leviathan? I, so, let's talk I permission. Know. You are a dream druid. You have built a dream circle. You have permission to enter your area. Going outside of it, Means you're gonna have to get a pass, permission, or risk it. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> We'd be able to walk just in the twist and pine areas, but if we leave or immigrate to a different area, then we'd find ourselves some trouble. What would be the point? Would I I've never been to the dream. 
Unless it's the same place when I'm sleeping, but what? why would one do this? We'd have to walk in. I, I too, am clueless. Hmm. Well, when we were Very interesting. to Cornelius, he said before that the dreams, uh, they, they're used to communicate between the druids. There's probably some way for us to enter and connect to another grove somehow and speak to them uh, through uh, communication. Tyr specifically tried to prevent this. Hmm. Suppose if it is safe, we should try it. This makes a lot of sense. Hmm. What about the other two? <laughs> the other two abilities? The touch of inspiration yes. increases the uh, efficacy of experimentation for your whole city, basically. Oh, nice. So innovation it, it, is... It, it's, a, it's a dream modifier to the city. Sick. Hmm. It adjusts. It adjusts the charts I roll on. Nice. And the neutral dream state isn't an ability; it's a status. Oh. You are not doing anything that's fucking up the dream. Oh, okay. Perfect. That's good. <laughs> Seems pretty neutral for us. <laughs> Well, well who, should we try to go in? Definitely. Try to find out what's inside. Oh. Uh, let me uh, just let me drop off seven barrels of wine to our good old buttermilk <laughs> so we can sell it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, sure. I have to sell so much wine. <laughs> we just sell this I'm, wine before we go in. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it for two cars. Cash and to free up space on breakfast. Hmm. Just in case, in case we find, find something. something. In there. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I walk off and find buttermilk and I just drop off seven barrels of wine. And you call it the dream. Sounds good. Wonder if we'll find anything in there. Uh, should I do a quick primordial? Or primeval, should I? Into the dream? Ow. Yeah, do it when we walk into the dream. Alright, we'd rather we do it inside. Well, yes, yes it's another place. Past this glowing door. Considering it door. literally won't function if you do it over here. You should probably right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be weird. Uh, I mean, it uh, worked with the other portals. It worked once we walked through the other portal. Then I we hung around outside and let you do your thing. No, no, I was talking about the, the ones with Cornelius. I was able to talk to the druid there. But... That that was different. We could we could throw rocks at those people. I we could. Look, it's a giant hole in space. I don't know the differences between these things. Well, we can see through. We could see through Cornelius's portals. This one is a big swirling swirl of of light. So, I imagine they must be different. I, I suppose you could try. There's no harm in trying. Tries. Fails. It's nothing. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Hold together. So. Uh, to answer your call. Oh, go ahead. Oh. No, I just uh, Moss asked me something when I was away from my from my monitor. Um, to answer your question, no, Moss. Um, it, hmm. some people might see as a religion is more of the spirit and the weapon that they believe in, the passed down of generations of so and so. But uh, I wouldn't really know anyone to ask about to find these Karens. But you believe that um, your weapons are tied to the spiritual sometime, somehow, right? In some odd way, yes. Well, with most spiritual things, the way I've understood it, that there seems to be some kind of connection, you know? Uh, you speak to a cleric to, to speak to their god. You go to a spiritual place to, to 
feel it out, I suppose. Uh, I'm not good at these things. This is a guess, you know? If you have... If you have a weapon that is tied to the divine whatever mumbo-jumbo that you believe in, if you were to find places that have to do with it, I, I imagine they would be connected somehow, wouldn't you? Uh, connected to what? Um, to, to dream to your, or...? To your or... weapon, to the spirits, to the cans, whatever, whatever... Whatever divine feelings place you're looking for, I imagine there's some kind of trail. Uh, I don't know, but it's a guess. Mm. We'll, we'll have to find out what that is. I just kind of believe that every time I swing my axe, uh, the other path holders is swinging it at the same time as I am. Hmm. So? There's, there's your connection. Maybe... I don't know if this would work. This is simply a, an idea off the top of my head. What if you asked them questions while you swung it? As that seems to be the time you feel the most connected to them. There. Oh. Just, you know, throwing ideas around. I... I the theory of religion fascinates me. Yeah. And now that we're interacting with all these uh, higher beings, it did starts you, to make a little more sense, I suppose. Yeah, did you grow up in a college like that it was a church? What? Good. For the Pale City. I, I grew up in the Twilight Hills, Scroll. My parents moved me to the Pale City to get married. Didn't really spend much time there. Hmm. Yeah, girl. I knew about religion because Telemi taught me. Hmm. Everything I picked up, I picked up through him. Well, well we're done inquiring about spirits and such, are we... Can I try going in? Yes, we should attempt to see what sure. Rick has created. Yeah. You know, most of us will never get to experience the dream as we die. So, might as well do it while we're still shambling around. <laughs> suppose yeah. it would be an extra special experience for you three. Perhaps I could see the uh, the Great Valhalla when I'm over there. Oh, True. Maybe the warriors have died in the Twisting Pines. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. That'd be interesting to see. Place where all warriors go. Well. I suppose, Mr. Druid, we will be following your lead then. Alright. Oh boy! My favorite. You guess it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
perhaps that's what the the bridge is that breaks between the the dream to the Valhalla area since uh, the Twisting Pine has an area perhaps Valhalla has a separate um, this this Valhalla is a a place that you want to go you don't exactly want to go there you want to be there when you fight and you die it's a place that after death and battle you hope to seek I see I suppose with you being undead um, that wouldn't work out the same anymore uh, to be honest I don't even know. I know that it's difficult for the physically me to get there, but if I die now, I do not know if I even get to see the glimpse of it. So I would like to see it with my own eyes before perhaps I fall one day. Hmm. Mr. Chrome, we should drink together later after after this whole dream expedition. I have some thoughts run by you. Hmm. Are you guys loaded? Yeah, we're loaded. Yeah, I'm yeah in. we're in. All right. I'm in. As you step through the portal, come out on the other side in a strange place. The game is still paused. No? There we go. Alright. Swig, make me a nature check. Alright. Here, in the center, of this kind of this island in the expanse you will see a singular flower petite can i pick it well as you approach it it seems to respond to you the flower grows before your very eyes and opens before you. In Indruidic, it says, a tune. Oh, okay. You're gonna walk up to it and sit crisscross and hover his hands over it and see what happens. As you mingle your magic with the strange flower, you will see it start to expand. Then, you will see many different symbols start to flash across the screen. Not screen, but across the petals, excuse me. And as yeah. they flash across the petals, you will see that each of them are druidic words. They seem to mention something of acorns and the Feywild, and the Hatter Mad. So finally, the flower stops rumbling. And at this point, it's gotten huge. As big as a big as one of you. Whoa. Its petals wrapping around itself before they fall away. A creature is seen standing in the platform of the pedestal the flowers had made. Their back is to you before they turn, noticing you. They give you a smile and a wave as you see this creature. <coughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Don't worry, Marlo's looking the other way. Marlo will start to smoke two cigarettes at once. <laughs> <laughs> 500 cigarettes. I give him a box of cig cigars I got. 
All right. Hello. All right. And as it fades, or excuse me, as as it waves, it will go. <clears throat> Hello. She'll give a little giggle. Sorry, I am not used to uh, speaking um the, the mortal tongues. Uh, hello, yes, you understand? Yes, I, I understand. Oh, oh, very good, very Hi. good. I be known as Clover, and I am to represent you in the dream as your tender. What's a tender? Oh, you don't know. They did tell me that the druids of this place were a bit behind. What do you see? I am to act as your uh, liaison, your speaker to the great Feywild, of which all primal power is drawn. Oh, you're our connection. Yes. I will admit, this is my first assignment, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm ever so excited. All of the other connections that we've had have been illegal ones. Oh, how come? The, the others won't tell me, but they say it's really bad. They were really surprised when they got the notification about you. The flowers started to sing. They started to sing and dance, and, well, they sent me. I am to act as your liaison to the Feywild, your shepherd to guide you there, and, when needed, your lawyer. Against, um... The Brothers of the Dream. Oh, Bro okay. Brothers? Indeed. The Brother Gods that rule the Dream, and all the space between. Oh, I read about them. Okay. Yes, we did. Who are they? Own and... They are Own and Wode. Big blue dragon thing and big black guy. Got it. Shuts a little notebook. Ah. Yes. Well, how, how do we proceed from here? Because this is a first for me as well. Well, <clears throat> she'll pull out a leaf. Or she, you see there's a bunch of words written on it. Well, let's see. I'm... I'm... In... Oh, and we've introduced each other. I've explained the rules. Wait, I haven't explained the rules. Oh my goodness, I haven't explained the rules. There are rules. Of course. I thought this was a dream. Damn. Well, it is, but you can't just do whatever you want in the dream. You'll get in trouble. Wait. I can get in trouble for doing whatever I want in, in my dreams? Not when you're sleeping, silly. But when you're awake, it's a completely different story. Oh, oh. Good. Leans down to Twilight. That's that's why there's like two gods. In either Good. case, let me explain the rules. You are allowed to enter the dream within this space, or with your liaison, which is me, if you ever wish to travel to the Feywild. You can do so in order to stand before the courts, or to seek counsel, or just really to visit, if you'd like. Although, mm. it should be noted that each request needs to be filled out in triplicate. I know it sounds very bureaucratic, but it's the only way to keep Lord Wode from getting mad at us. Hmm. Well, sounds like Swig has a new job. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Indeed. Other than that, this space here, she gestures around at the island, this is yours to do with as you wish. Imagine oh. things. Dream big dreams. See if you can make them come to fruition. And I'll be here to tend to them. I, you can make things in the dream? Well, of course you can. Watch. And she will close her eyes, hold out her hand, and an apple will appear. See? And she'll throw the apple to the Twilight Mouse. I will catch it. Give it a taste! I will, as I look it over, sniff it, Ref and take a bite. Imagine a butt pile. Breakfast will now be muddy. 
I munch on the apple. So, so if I were to take this apple out, out through the portal, what would happen to it? Oh, it Martin? would dissipate, of course. Ask everything in the Means. dream stays in the dream. Well, everything except the knowledge of it. Hmm. 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 There are many sit over here. There are many different things that the dream is used for. Innovation. Pleasure and fun. I've even seen some practice their combat skills in the dream. You said practice our combat skills? Indeed. <laughs> in fact, it is oftentimes used by those that have permission. They go into the dream to face an imagined version of a great beast or enemy that they must face in order to practice for what is to come. Hmm. It is even said that some warriors can attain a mental prowess so mighty that they can set themselves into a trance and travel to the dream to battle against their enemy while they sleep. And if you're injured here, what happens then? Is this is this all just a dream? What what happens what happens if I die here? Oh, pish posh. You awake, of course. As long as your astral <clears throat> cord is not severed, you'll be fine. Interesting. Uh, crosses her arms and thinks about that. Hmm. Dude, there's too many questions. Not enough answers. Yeah, this... Uh-oh, he's walking up. Uh, pardon me. Uh, no. Uh, what are you? Oh, uh, I'm a satyr. Very good. Smokes. <laughs> that was actually very tame. Good, good job, my love. Hmm. hmm. What do you get her. when you cross a goat and a person? Hmm. You, ah, 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 I am a goat, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Affirmations contained, I adore this one. <laughs> Probably the best joke I've heard from him. No, it wasn't, but it was, it was still, it was funny anyway. I hate it. Why? That was funny? <laughs> Mr. Grohl. Barrel of laughs is wasted on you. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Do you oh, have wait. any other questions? Uh, <laughs> yes, a, a few. You you mentioned earlier that there was other signs of illegal grows. If you don't know the details, do you have any? Uh, general signs that that or other crimes that would usually be considered. Uh, as such. Oh. Are you muted? I don't know. I was muted. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. T will continue. All I know is, is that apparently a very bad man gained access to the druidic portals. He did so through unspeakable actions. Mm-hmm. But that's all I really know. Oh, Ooh. Mr. Swig. Mm -hmm. You. Did she leave this place? Like, if could she come into the waking room? I don't. I don't know. You should ask her. Could you? Uh pass through the portal into the waking realm and help me with taking care of the grove? Well, I would be on this side, but entering, I would have to be anchored. I'd have to be summoned. I'd have to take up one of your ally slots. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. That made me... Like, we <laughs> like weep a whack. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, no, like holding not hair. Like, not like her at all. Like Laza. Oh, ah, right. definitely like we black. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I see. All right. right. You don't know about the um, 
She does air quotes, bad man who messed up everything. Do you know who would know? Barrel laughs will imagine himself funny. And nothing will change. I knew it! Ah! That's not how that works, Barrel. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? I was memeing. You don't know who the bad man was that messed everything up or why or anything like that. Would you know someone who has more information? Well, you could ask my mistress. She's the one who sent me. You'll have to go to the Feywild for that, though. Mm. Well, do you guys wish to go? I mean, other than the city, I don't think we have much to do around here. Well, do uh, we need to uh, secure this area? You know, develop it? It is actually a fair point. I understand it's not a, even... supposed to be the mirror of our, play, our city in some way. Or the mental image of it. Something of the sort. Huh. I think this place... Kind of handles itself, Mr. Go. I guess I'm asking: is, is there a way for us to assist in the growing of this side, and not specifically just the physical mm. world? What is there to grow here? Well, there are some things you could do, but really only he can. Pointing at the druid. Yes. What ah. would be developments I could imply here that would affect us? Uh, in the waking realm. Well, you could acquire dream stones. Oh, what did those do? They are focal static points that make stasis possible within the dream. When someone dreams a dream so powerful that even beyond their death, it still lingers, you could take the form of a stone. I see. Would those just be lying around, or what would it look like? Oh, you'd know it when you saw it. But they tend to look like crystals. Huh. Would they give off similar energies to the acorns? Or is these separate things? Joe kind of blink. What do you mean, acorn? Here we go again. The growl <laughs> looks at growl. <laughs> I, what in the world could be the harm in telling her about the acorn? You, you tell everyone about your acorn, Mr. Growl. <laughs> Hold on. Luke says, or Marlo says, hashtag just growl things. <laughs> oh, see my acorn? Well, but now that we're here... And you've sparked a, 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 a reaction from her. I, well, I mean, I know what an acorn is. I just don't see how that's relevant. An acorn is planted in the earth. Or uh, the acorn. So. <laughs> just imagine it into your palm of your hand. Madame, and I will bow slightly. Don't have one on hand. We have been met by the uh, Hatter Mad one point in our journeys, who gave us acorns to grow. Her grow. eyes will widen at that. You... You know the... The Hatter Mad? Yes. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize. Or at least most of us do. Some of our companions are newer. The flower. I've always oh, wanted to that. meet her. Hmm. But yes, we were given acorns to um, grow groves. Oh, yeah, those are not acorns. Those are seeds. Those are world seeds. Yes, we we know that much. Plant oh. them on ley lines, that sort of thing. Yeah. Are these crystals like this? Well, or are I... they something else entirely? No, they're more like the fruit of the tree. Interesting. 
and He's and coming. the tree itself is here. Life. Arms wide. Life itself. Looks All of life. Hmm. All right then. You know it makes sense when you have a beginning, middle, and end. It just kind of comes together. I. I feel like I've seen like a bit too much stuff recently, and I'm still putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. Someone just showed me the picture, and I have all the puzzle pieces, and I just need to figure out how to sort them. You oh, put mentioned You said you were pulling some out. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm just playing with the acorn. She does not notice that you're just playing with the acorn over there. <laughs> the seed of life. You <laughs> can just twindle it through his fingers. It's just like, a, it's like a fidget. It's the fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> fidget spinner acorn. Meaning what you doing acorn. over there? Ah, oh, just you know, playing, playing with, with the concept. Seed of life. Playing with the seed of life. <laughs> Nar's gonna sit down and start like going through notes in her book. Uh, how do so, I? Would you be the person who would go forth and speak to others uh, to entreat with them, such as the other fake creatures, or? Well, like... yes, I'm your liaison. Mm, for so example, we... if you had a request for the court, you would give it to me and I would take it to them. Oops, the notes. Would it oh, be possible for you to check on the health of the Toad King? My... Yeah. I, 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 I could, yes. I did a sending, I'm not sure that I ever got a response on that, though. You. Mm. Again with this Toad King. Would you be able to communicate between uh, other groves of the dream? That'd of course, possible. if there were any others. Oh, do they have to be within the continent, or can they be outside of it? They can be outside of it, although the journey is long. Hmm. So if they were inside the continent, hence the acorns. Hence why the person tore everything apart and made it so that we couldn't understand each other and keep track of everything. <sighs> I'd be careful about reaching out, considering what he did. Ah, uh, true. You did know the dream circle was going to be suppressed in the area. I guess there's... Are you able to check to see if there's any other in the continent, or is this the only one? This is the only one I know of. As I said, the others were illegal. Well, Would you be the... able to give us some locations of these illegal dream groups? Why? Well, part of what we were supposed to do was to help balance out the ley lines, and I don't know if these illegal ones are helping or deterring. I would need to get permission to tell you something like that. Understood. Also, you're an undead monster, so I don't think I would tell you. I mean... Mr. Druid over here is undead. Yeah, I can, can I but he is play? the Druid. True. Yes, balance. I understand. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of interested in these uh, crystals of dreams. I want to see what people really wanted. That was ingrained into these lands. They're not. No, sorry, what was the question? You're a bit quiet. Could you, uh, look for one of these crystals? You know, your thing, you sit down and meditate. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure on objects. It's a bit more 
difficult, but if it's attached to a person's dream, maybe. Yeah, just try it. All right, you sit down real quick and use primeval consciousness. You detect nothing at all. Three miles is nothing in the dream. Damn. Oh, that's so lovely. Just, so it's just empty space, not suppressed? Dude, you're in space. Okay. Three miles yeah. is nothing. We are <laughs> nowhere near anything. Ah, uh, I see. So you're unable of detecting anything? Nothing more than ourselves. <clears throat> Mrs. Liaison, would you know the location of one of these? One of these what? Crystals. Well, not really, no. Although it is said that powerful creatures, they leave behind dream remnants when they die. You check those places. Are we slaying any powerful creature within the Twisting Pines? The only thing that can the demon is oh. yeah, the demon waste or the bone mire. From my understanding, there's great skeletons within the bone mire. Out of character, um, it's loot for powerful creatures. It's just loot. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you kill them. The fruit. The fruit. Loot. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, we have a new loot kill... source. Yeah, yeah, so if we killed a phoenix, we'll, we'll get a crystal. Mm. Probably. Yeah, probably. No wings. But, uh... Hmm. So we can gather the, I guess, the crystallized dreams of those that perish. We can uh, stabilize this area. Perhaps make it larger. Perhaps. I don't know. Oh. I'm I'm at a loss for words right now. It's it's all new. It's a loss, is what it is. Yes. Yeah, too much, even. Well, we did just uh, adjust all of the mana flowing through the entire area. Perhaps we go check on the city, make sure everyone's okay. If there's anything else we need here. No, who was just here to check up on things? Hmm. Did you have any questions about Valhalla there? Oh, right, yes. Chrome. Put my world seat back in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, he did to it uh, I, I've came across the just details words of the Valhalla that great wars would attend to after perishing in war, battle, fights, whatever, mm -hmm. skirmishes. And, uh, well, I know that I am undead. A monster in some people's eyes, but uh, I was told that it's not impossible, but very difficult to uh, achieve such ending. Perhaps just a glimpse of it would satisfy my well, my 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 interest. Well. I don't know much about warriors' deaths. What I do know is that the place you speak of is ruled by the throne of war, and it is found in the middle thing section between, well, the great kingdoms. Specifically, um, Elysium, the Aeons, Proteans, Primordials, Wait, no, that's wrong. It's, it's the heavens, the hells. The inevitables and the proteans, yes. So war is in the middle somewhere? 
Yes. And that's not here in the dream? Oh, it can be access to the dream. Everything is the dream. But the dream is everything, though it is quite vast. I've never been there before. I would need to... Um, need to find a map. I could speak to some of my elders that perhaps they will provide instruction. But if you ever wanted to go there, we could certainly try. Hmm. It's one of my peak interests that has me up and going of late. I just... Would like to go there, but I know I'm not technically dead yet, so can't really visit a home or a place that you need to be dead in battle to visit. Perhaps just pictures of it, but whatever story. Well, could we gain an invitation? An invitation? And walk amongst them? Well, what little I know. It is said that the Throne of War sends forth his, well, his trials into the world. Those that conquer them and gain great prestige. Perhaps even the sight of the other war gods. Personal invitation is possible, but only when one has performed great deeds. Your glory and prestige is high enough. <coughs> Perhaps that would be something to pursue, then, Mr. Crow. I I doubt that a glimpse would do it for you. Well This apple like to me. This apple tastes like a real apple. It it crunches like a real apple, but is it real? Will I will I still feel it when I leave? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying to me. I'm sorry, I'm a bunch of what ifs. <sighs> Sighs dramatically. I'm full of a lot of thoughts right now and I don't want to <laughs> Did you want to do your thing? I'll no, stand I... next to you. We'll stand next to you, what? I... I, I have a thought, and I... I don't... I don't think it's a good idea, but... Maybe? I, I don't know. Miss, uh, Clover. You yes. said you can... We can... We can summon creatures here to, to practice fighting against them and such. Of course. Can you do the same for dead creatures? Oh well, yeah. And they they're still them. They they act and Well, they are as you would remember them. Then I suppose I have my answer, Mr. Chrome. He wouldn't be him. He would be the him I Memory. remember. That's not what I want. I, I'd, I'd be stuck here. But you're wanting your... You're wanting him back. This wouldn't do it. It's just... It's a dream. Yeah, but we've... We've found something that might help. What would it help with, Nah, I'd, I'd be talking to a memory. Perhaps. No, not here in the dream, Phoenix. <clears throat> Perhaps you would get closure for whatever problem that you have. <laughs> Mr. Marlowe, I am continually convinced that you don't understand women at all. Hmm? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Hmm. Well, considering we were speaking of the Karns earlier, I did get a somewhat similar experience where I was able to contact my dead family and know that they passed on. It's been 
Fucking One week since you looked at me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, fuck, uh, you got my brain wormed. Uh, two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been four weeks since I saw But no, if it's just a dream, if it's just a memory. Right. I'll be waiting at the entrance. Oh, right. I was going to show an example, but. Oh, that's off. rather sad. Boom, yeah. I imagine my wife right here. Yes. Whoa, look at his wife! Ah. Hmm. Perfect. What happened? Day she passed. <laughs> no. Cries. Sits. Can you travel through the dream? Like, is it faster than land? Well, you could travel through the dream, yes. To other places in the dream. And yes, you can even enter the waking realm through the dream. I suppose it could be faster, but your access points are quite limited. Hmm. So we do need an exit point. All right. And permission. And permission. Writes that down. Well, we've already got the Fey Gates. Might be a bit much to try and parse through here as well. Hmm. Maybe. Are we planning to go to the fake wild? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, Gosh. what is your currency in the fey wild? Hugs. Odd question, but... What? Hugs! Hmm. Oh! Excuse me? The currency is hugs. So, um... You guys want to go to the Feywild? Probably. Except that currency. I think that bunny lady. Actually, yeah, we might have to go to the Feywild. I am looking to craft some stuff. Maybe grab some materials out of there. Right. Hugs. Well, hugs, yeah. It is hugs, yes. Seems like I'm very wild. It's mysterious in its ways. So I would not question it. Looks at his arms. Probably gain more information on the uh, on the false seed of life that was planted in the man of I the Isle of Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, do we have any more questions for now? Uh, I don't think so. No. I'm out of questions, I think. Till I actually put the pieces together and unless we went to the fame model. I've never hugged someone in a very long time. Last time you tried to give me a hug, I uh, rejected it. <laughs> gave me a handshake. It was a good handshake. So... Are you trying to tell me that you want to go to the Feywild? Uh, well... Are we? I think a few of us might have some use of it. But can we go right now, or would that be the... Uh, we we can if you want, yes! Was there something you needed specifically? Like, crafted, or...? Uh, I'm looking for items to craft my phylactery. Oh, right. Yes. Oh. Maybe I'll find something there. Uh, we will kind of just like look at her to judge her reaction to him just casually dropping his phylactery. She doesn't seem to care or know what that is. There's lots of things you can get. The whimsy Are market you... is quite something this time of year. And the currencies is hugs. Yes. Mm. It should still be hugs by the time we get there. The currency changes. Well, of course it does. It changes as the seasons change, and indeed as the courts change. Ah. Huh. Oh. Change is an inevitable part of the Feywild, after all. <laughs> change. And yes, your hugs will take you quite a long way, she says to Chrome. 
So, are we going to like a uh, wild bazaar or something? Sounds like it. If we go to the Feywild and everything, perhaps we'll run into the Hatter Mad and we can ask some questions. Yes. Maybe you'll run uh, into your summon as well. Oh, is that such a great idea, he says, pointing at the blue scarf on his wrist? I don't... Uh, I don't see what the problem is. It's just a ribbon. There might be some bunnies there that we could talk to. <laughs> Gosh. Right. Well, we, do, we do kind of owe that one. Oh damn! That's yeah, you're right, Miss Clover. I should also record where it is and what's there, and perhaps they will have knowledge of the sagas as well. They are a storytelling. Hmm. You know, you haven't mentioned the penis. He blows smoke there. on the Twilight Mouse again. There, Miss Miss Clover. If I, if I left something here, and and left, would it still be here when I came back? Here, yes. Other places, perhaps not. See, Mister Swig, do you hear that? Yes. I'm you must be careful leaving objects laying about, though, especially if they are potent ones. You may attract the slod. Uh, oh, what? what? They are scavengers. Chaotic dreamfarers. They used to be quite powerful. Threatened the entire dream at one point. But now they're a very small and weak nomadic people. But they are cunning. And as I said, scavengers. They tend to pick apart what refuse is left behind in the dreams. And I've even been known to shift into the waking realm whenever a particular item catches their fancy. I see. Hmm. So maybe not leave anything particularly powerful or important. That's good information. Yes. Well, are we off to some bazaar or something? Seems yeah. like it. Uh, do we have money? I know we spent a lot getting ready for the uh, we have hugs, remember? You have, we have arms, don't you? They're, we have, they're hugs. We have hugs. Yeah, I'm not gonna roll. Currency on this time on a year. It's, it's Look, a barrel of laughs can probably pay for the lot of us. That's true. My arms are made for comforting. Bring it in, buddy. <laughs> barrel will hug none enough. Wow, well, that's like <laughs> twenty platinum right there. Uh, Wow, I, what a caring hug. I really need to keep there he is laugh. no effort. He has not moved his arms in the slightest. Do not worry, <laughs> not enough, my mighty writer. I do not smell you, which means that I can hug you for as long as needed. I do not have the weakness of flesh. Yeah, because, <laughs> you know, you won't get transformed from hugging me. Indeed, we are made for each other, my master. Together, we <laughs> shall fight against your depression. He's, How he's about a mine. joke? What do you get when you cross an otter with an aardvark? He will <laughs> look into the sky and say, <laughs> why? That is not the correct answer. It is an odd otter. Ha! 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 What are we looking at? <laughs> what are we looking <laughs> at? You know that enough. This is your eternal punishment. <laughs> well, like, too. What are we looking at? The issue is we're both immortal. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Well, he's curing my depression, so... We are family! Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. <laughs> I've got my undead creature with me! Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dropping. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Right, the song is cool. making me feel better. Hmm. Let us head off into the Feywild. What a bizarre.
As you All right, up. follow me. She'll start skipping. And the party follows her to the Feywild? Mm -hmm. I, I guess. Yep. All right, off to the Feywild we go. Ha <laughs> ha, that's all you get for tonight. Because I have to <laughs> go make that for you. All right. Wait, are we the we first ones to, to hit just the do Feywild? It. All right. yeah. You want to know what I didn't think you guys were going to just randomly do? Hey, you guys want to go to the Feywild? Go to the yeah, Feywild? Yeah. yeah, let's go to another plane of existence. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll get that ready. <laughs> I've got a shopping list real quick. Do you guys mind if we just make a quick trip to the Go to the fucking yeah, Feywild? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Barlow's gonna have some fun when he comes back. Oh boy! I, All right. I can afford their currency. I have to make like I have to order like eight maps now. God, this is gonna be such an expensive session, dude. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> All uh, for one shopping trip. <laughs> God, can you imagine? All right. Good wish session. You can happening. You could do Sharpie maps, you know. We'd, we'd be we'd yeah. Be I could just I could just phone maps. it in and shit. Be just, <laughs> just do a really shitty job. That's what people pay me for, right? Just half assing it. No, I'm gonna do it proper, even if you only Sweet. spend two seconds there. Sweet. God, that would be right. Guys, uh, now that we're in the Feywild, I I really miss home. We should we should leave. Damn, oh that's God. crazy. This place sucks. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this place sucks. I think I'm going to go back. We have a time to run. Like, nah. None of this has got cool zombie shit on it. I thought we were going somewhere else entirely. Let's go head over to Spencer's or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man. Uh, okay. Good to me. All right. Let's see, do we got any fan art I'm looking? I don't see any. Well, uh, Shamper, eat your heart out. I don't see any. Is it, Am I missing it? Uh, I posted one thing, but it wasn't like... It's oh, not really fan art. All, all, I, all, all I see is just fucking Sigma Craig. <laughs> I, what are you, what? 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 I'm looking I think for they're... fan art. You're probably in the wrong spot, then. What? Sigma? Oh, yeah, no, I'm in Fenner. Yeah, the last thing that was posted. Are you guys in spoilers or something? Oh, we're in spoilers! Wow, of course. Wow, yeah, guys. The Whatever. Fuck? What, what, what the fuck? <laughs> you guys I guess no, no fan art. <laughs> <laughs> None. Whatsoever. None. <laughs> That's okay. Can you just unsummon that thing? I forgot how fucking... Sexy that he made like void made it on Marvel. Oh, <laughs> uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable <laughs> because I am like... a barrel of laughs. <laughs> Alrighty, good stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it there. Very um, good. Thanks for playing, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. For songs and souls, the severed thread. I will see you tomorrow for Edge of Twilight and oh The God. Dark Sermon, <gasps> followed by possibly one of the final community nights. I don't know. I don't know. I might I might go out and do something. I, I don't know. I'm going to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, especially if I'm going to be sacrificing it. Wait, were you Jenny the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. God. And Moss. Damn it. Yeah. It's okay. Jenny is pretty as well. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm, fell unconscious. Wait, did the fan art not show? Body. I'm I'm sorry, Chad. Well, we didn't have fan art. Yeah, we didn't have any this time. Right. That was from last week. Anyway, hugs slash and or kisses. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.